All right, so watch this video for Tuesday, April 17th. You can see kind of another narrow range day on the SPY. This is the daily candle. Let me go to intraday and show you that, uh, you know, you had the gap up and it was completely choppy. And then kind of like during lunch, it breaks out of the range a little bit, chops for another, I don't know, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. And then finally one last push. But I mean, overall, extremely choppy, uh, low volatility, uh, just kind of a boring day. Um, amidst that, we did root out a couple pretty nice calls. I'm still loving the small caps. I always have, always will. Um, ARGS. I called today at uh, 106. It ended up going to 129. Very nice percentage gain. 23 cents a share and only 5 cents risk. And at HMNY, called at 335. Went all the way to 430 with only 6 cents risk. Uh, that never hit the stop either. 95 cents a share. They're pretty good gains percentage-wise. Um, I did actually capture the ARGS setup uh, before it made its full move, but uh, just showing you here um, the breakout. I can't even remember. These are maybe 15-minute candles. Uh, you kind of see the trend line. I called it right there at 106 as it was breaking that trend line. And again, switching to the intraday on ARGS. Let me go to 15 so we can get that same look. Yeah, you can kind of picture the trend line right here. So there was the 106 call. And ended up going all the way almost to 130. Nice percentage gain. Um, and HMNY had a really nice move as well. Um, speaking of HMNY, going into the watch this for tomorrow. Closed very strong. Massive volume. So we're going to watch that for a potential follow through day tomorrow. Very big move today. Um, BDR was on watch today. Didn't do anything we were looking for. So it just goes, as, goes in as kind of a quiet inside day. Maybe a third day play tomorrow. Um, no trades in it today. RGSE, nice volume spike. Closing well off its highs, though, but the extra volume makes me want to watch it tomorrow for uh, maybe a red to green. MVIS, nice little breakout of, an, of a range here from about uh, almost maybe a month worth of trading. And uh, nice volume. Closing pretty strong. I want to watch that for a follow through day tomorrow. TNDM um, had this really big move. It's almost doubled in a few weeks. And then it looked like it was rolling over, but it's showing good strength again. If I switch to 15-minute candles, you can kind of see pretty nice sideways action here that over the high of today, maybe over 760, it might retest the high from the other day, which was 795, and maybe break through that. So I still think it's worth watching, even though it's extended from the moving average. So certainly keep that in mind if you're considering a trade in that one. SPPI had a gap up and a nice kind of a day and a half run. And now you've got a few red days back down to the eight-day moving average on de you know declining volume on this pullback. Certainly worth watching for a turn back up tomorrow. VHC was on watch after gapping up on a settlement with Apple. Uh, four straight days down, almost near you know recent lows now. Um, I, I certainly don't love this setup, but at, at at the same time, is it worth less than it was before the settlement? Um, you know, I think it's worth watching for a bounce. I have not taken a trade, and I've had this on bounce watch. For a couple sessions now but it hasn't given me any kind of a setup which is fine because i don't want to trade it if it's going to keep going lower right um mynd is getting nice volume lately today kind of a quiet day uh topped out at 215. Uh, yesterday's high was 245 so i mean i don't know i kind of like it uh if it gives a clean setup we'll see not in love with it cnet c-n-e-t big two-day run couple day pullback today and now a green day that closed pretty strong. We're going to watch for a follow-through on today's bounce. A couple more. DPW had the big pop. And then uh, now a couple red days on declining volume. Pretty low volume today. Maybe ready to turn back up tomorrow. And then AAOI had a really nice uh, pop from... I'll give you the numbers here. Uh, in, in a few sessions, it went from 2450, the low of this day, to thir almost 31. So this doesn't look like a big move. But it's because, you know, way back here it was 100 bucks, So all this is kind of compressed together. But, you know, 24.50 to almost 31, that's a really big move. But now it's kind of flagging sideways. So that one has potential to squeeze. And uh, we're going to add some gappers, you know, to this list in the pre-market tomorrow as well. Last night's video was almost 14 minutes long. So I'm 4 minutes and 38 seconds into it. I'm going to go ahead and make it short and sweet tonight since I rambled so much yesterday. All right, have a great night. And we'll see everybody tomorrow.